Hmm. Morning, everybody. It's JB again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, we're here in Mountain Home. Ooh. And it is Friday, the 29th, the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, look at them legs. Mm, yeah, baby mama. Mm. Sneak us in some deer hunting. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, it's a little bit after five here. Mm. Later. This short video right here is actually from my blind and right after I take this, uh, about two minutes after I take this and actually hit stop on the recording, uh, I hear John's gun go off. It was a close shot and uh, I knew right then that he had gotten one because John doesn't just shoot unless he's got a good clear shot so I missed a shot by just probably a couple minutes but still you'll see the the fruit of the harvest coming up and we had a good time it was a short sit but it was awesome we had a great time <laughs> there's John yeah the mighty deer killer <laughs> yeah. I heard a shot and I said, boys, that's pretty close. <laughs> and I thought, you know, John doesn't shoot at something unless he's going to kill it. And uh, he's been holding on to them bullets for about eight years. <laughs> one, shot, one shot, one, one kill, kill <laughs> baby. <clears throat> so that doe came in with two fawns at about 40 yards, John said. And, and uh, there you go, man. Straight down through there. You can tell where they've been running. Sure enough, huh? Yeah, and look. Yeah. Right there. over through there? Yeah. Well, my golly. Let's give her a second to rest. I'm going to walk over here and see if I can see anything in that field. I'm going to walk back and start dressing her out, John. It's okay. nice and cool. We got time. John, yeah. good job, man. Well, we the, try hard. The Lord is good. We try, yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Come out here. That's about the time we usually kill them out here, too, yeah. about 7.30. 7.30, 8 o'clock, yeah. Ish, yeah. That's a nice draw right there. 
Did they come straight down they that came, mountain? They came down that side of that mountain right there and came along the edge there. And then so they passed down. right by you, didn't they? You let them get a little bit farther before you shot them. Well, I was trying to see what they were. Yeah. What their heads were. And I couldn't yeah. see the two smaller ones that were gray. They were gray. Yeah. She was tan. And I could see her easier and she went over there. Well, those are yearlings, so yeah. they'll be fine. Yeah, messed around. Those were last year's fun, so. She's definitely been bred. So that is a fat, mature, slick head nanny doe. We got some big deer out here, don't we? <laughs> that's, that's a nice size deer. There. Get over there, John. Do a gripping grin with her. What? A gripping grin. A gripping grin. A gripping grin. Uh -huh. Give me a break. <laughs> that's a nice deer, boy. I tell you. That's a nice big. Look at the size of the head on that deer. Well, that's the reason I was trying to see if she had horns because she had such a big head. She's a big body deer. Yeah. Look uh, at the. Look at the. Yeah. I mean, that's a. And he's got the perfect shot placement. The old 308 just. It did well. Just did her in. I was didn't pleased it, with it. Yes. <laughs> Heck yeah. Lord is good. Jesus is good. Same guy. So. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can't find anything in the field that John left for me, the killer. And uh, if not, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start field dressing field this. this and by we, I mean me. Me and you. We're and uh, and we'll get her done. And I'll at least keep the heart if there's anything left of it. I think it probably is. I think you hit her in the lungs because the heart's down here. Yeah, but, uh, I hit a little high. That's okay. Boy, she didn't go, but didn't go probably 30 yards maybe. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah, that big stone? Yeah. You were sitting right there? No, I was actually sitting down here. Huh. Oh, and that one on with that the log one on it. With the log on the back. That's where I was sitting. <laughs> and she came right through there. <laughs> so she came down right off that point and just kind of. Right off that point was right out there when I shot her. And she flipped around. Yeah, they're probably, hell, they might have been going out to the field. Usually you catch them coming in from the field. Yeah. This time of morning, but well, that's morning. some thick stuff, folks. Coming right down through there. They never had a clue I was sitting there. <laughs> they never had they a clue. They never had a clue. <laughs> I didn't know it. There were three of them. You know, I, I have not killed anything from a deer blind yet. Really? Every deer that I've ever killed has either been from a ground blind or just ground on the ground well, sitting. sitting. down there, I tried to break up my back. Yeah. Where they couldn't just see me standing up here. Yeah. But yeah. All right, I'll back it up. All right. Hooey. <clears throat> I will. So, headed to go get the truck. We got the deer uh, dressed out, ready to take it to the processor. John said he's going to give us some meat off of it. So, I mean, he didn't have to do that. That's really cool, man. <laughs> so, uh, I'm very grateful. I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get one today. <laughs> you know, but <clears throat> I'm pretty grateful. Because John got one. John was due one, man. He's He's been needing to get one for a while. So that's awesome. That's great. And uh, So that big nanny doe came down with her two yearlings. And... Uh, I heard a shot. I knew it was close. I knew it had to be John. I mean, it was a loud shot, man. And so I was like, dang. And, uh, you know, he, he got it done, man. He straight up got it done. One shot, one kill. He's going to lose some uh, shoulder meat. Because he went right through both shoulders with that 308. But <clears throat> about a 40-yard shot through all that thick brush. And uh, he got it done, man. So that's super cool. <laughs> it's super cool. Lord Jesus, you are awesome. You are awesome. And uh, this deer is going to be used and eaten and enjoyed. And uh, we'll have this story, me and Papa John, for a long time. Forever, really. <laughs> So, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty cool, man. It really is pretty cool. Boy, it's a big old 
vine just hanging down right there. So anyway, I've got my weapon on me. I got Pamela on me just in case I see something up here. You never know. He might. He said he never heard them deer coming because, you know, it's so wet out here and stuff. So never heard them coming. He said he saw them out of the corner of his eye and he watched them for a while. And he saw the big one and uh, he said to himself, Self, if you're going to shoot one of them deer, you better do it right now. <laughs> you know, so it's good. This is awesome. Probably going to have it out of here before it starts raining. So that's even better. So love y'all. Happy Thanksgiving or day after. Bye. How you feel there, killer? Yeah. Well, we got it. <laughs> we got it sure done. Do. It's in the back of the truck there, boys. So now it's on to the the processors. We'll call him when we get up here. He should be there today, I guess. Well, maybe. Last time it was Christmas, so yeah. I don't know. But well, he may be at work today. Mm-hmm. If not, we can always, I can process it. I just can't do any ground unless you guys got a grinder. But. Oh. It's a nice place to sit. Mm -hmm. But I've sat there all afternoon and I've seen it. Well, I think in the afternoon, it's better to be out in the wood or out in the fields. a good place to sit. You know, this property, that your buddy let us hunt on. And you talk about having trouble seeing them up there. Oh yeah. Is that where you saw that other one earlier this season? Or are you down at my stand earlier this season? I was at your stand. Okay. It's a, it's a blessing to yeah. have your buddy let us use this. Oh yeah. Big time. Yeah, big time. Well, and like you said, he's a meat hunter, so well, he doesn't put any antler restrictions or anything just as long as it's legal and you're abiding by the rules yeah i shot a couple of those up there <laughs> see they've got another a third section back there it's not even as tall as it could be I would think they'd want to put it up on this side, facing that way, and you could see that whole field out there. Dunes trying to get them coming down. Yeah. Those deer came right down the mountain, right off the. I think they came from that field, the back corner of that field right there. I know that they use no. trails and yeah. cuts like that. Well, folks. I heard one shot this morning and it was close. It was so close it scared the poop out of me. And I thought, well, that's got to be John unless there's somebody down here hunting with us that we didn't see. Um, and it was. I gave it about five minutes to wait and see if anything come by my stand because sometimes it happens and nothing did. So I thought, well, I'm going to go help John track it because I bet you he got one. And when I got up there... Hell, the deer hadn't gone but 30 or 40 yards. John was standing over top of it. So he did good. I'm proud of Papa John. He lets a lot of them walk, folks. But when he sees a fat, juicy one, he'll take her down. They've been crossing right there, too, John. See how they got all this cut now. That's cool. All right. Yeah. Well, see, that's actually down from last... Well... We still got a ways to go. We still got to the end of September, but yeah. the last five or six years, yeah. they have harvested total like over two hundred thousand deer. So there's still sixty thousand deer. To be yeah, you're talking about the, there's yeah, two two this more months. Halfway through, yeah, and we've already killed. So it could be more like two hundred eighty. Nineteen ninety-five. Yeah. Well, if you go back on the Arkansas Game and oh, Fish yeah. website, you can go back all the way to like to the thirties or twenties. Yeah. And statewide, the deer harvest would be like, you know, 30 deer. Yeah. I mean, it was way down there. And then you can just see it growing every year. Yeah. And that, that's what I try to tell the girls. 
I was like, man, girls, when I was a kid, you didn't just see deer just all over the place in herds, man. You know, if you saw one, it was a cool thing, man. Something to cherish. It was cool. I said, hell, I didn't see one until I was 15, and the first one I ever shot, I shot that son of a bitch. Or saw, I shot it. You did. Mm -hmm. That's what I told Trayvon, though, now that he's got his first gear. I said, man, now... He's you're hooked. hooked. He said, man, before this, oh, I'm already hooked. I said, no, no. I said, wait till you get one on the ground and, and you take that thing from waking up in the morning to your freezer that evening and it's just completely different, man. <laughs> it's completely different. I said, you'll be hooked, man. It's been a good day, Tater. Mm-hmm, yeah. Multiple people have done some studies and they think that... There may be more white-tailed deer now in North America than there was at the time of European contact. Yeah. yeah. Because of conservation, conservation and stuff. Right. <clears throat> and we've depopulated a lot of the predators. And, you know, of course, they're making a comeback. And, you know, honestly, I like the idea of having a predator around. It's yeah. kind of cool. But you don't want too many of them. <laughs> we be home, yeah. Uh -huh. What are we making, Mom? We're making John's Cairo nut pie. Cairo. That's what they call it in Hope, Arkansas. Pecan pie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cairo nut pie. Mm-hmm. I like them Cairo nut That's pies. That's what John's made used to call it when he was a little <laughs> bitty boy in it's Hope, Arkansas. <laughs> a Cairo, a Cairo nut, nut pie. pie. Cajun made made the Cairo nut pie. With a whoppum crust. <laughs> I bet she didn't use a wampum crab. I bet she didn't either. <laughs> Her name was Tawanda. Okay. That's my happy deer dance. Ooh, here comes baby. That's not baby. That's a baby. That's a children's. Mm -hmm. Did you look at it? Did you go look at it? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a good sized dough, isn't it? It's a lot of meat. It's a big one. It's a big one. Ha <laughs> ha. Big horse head on her. She has expired. When? Huh? When? <laughs> when something dies, you say it's expired. Uh. It doesn't have an expiration date on it. <laughs> Come look at the head on this one, honey. There's baby. There's baby in her blue shirt. Yeah. Don't be careful about the blood, Mom. <coughs> Hold this. So we don't have to get that close to it. <coughs> can you pet it? It's a good sized deer. Yeah, you can pet it. Pet its head. <laughs> oh, yes. It's soft. It is soft. One of these Go days. Go wash your hands. Go wash your hands. <laughs> One of these days we'll have to keep the, the pelt and make a, make a rug or something. That reindeer rug that John mm -hmm. had, that everybody used, and then all of a sudden it started falling apart. <laughs> well, no, I think Zach still got it, don't he? It started falling apart. Oh, evidently. really? Well, I mean, they're not, you know, you just got a stick in her ass. Well, that probably didn't surprise <laughs> me. I did a lot of uh, reaming back there. Hey, do me a favor. No. Cut. What? What? Uh, never mind. I was going to say, help me close this thing, but never mind. I got it. I got it. I'm a man. Yes, I am. You can put your phone up. Oh. Just dropped off the deer at the processor. And in case y'all are wondering, this is the processor we use now. Watts Custom Meat Processing. Shameless plug. So if you're in the Mountain Home area or Gasville or flipping or anything like that, give the guy a call. It's the day after Thanksgiving and uh, he was there, he answered the phone, no problem. He met us up at his shop, and he's gonna have that deer hung up for us for about 10 days. Or a little longer. Or a little bit longer, and uh, he did two dough for us last year, and we were real happy with that, weren't we? He, he did a pretty good job. He's a little bit expensive, but beggars can't be choosers, and he does a really good job. He's got a really clean shop there. He's got a, he's got a really nice setup. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, he's available 
I think last year on the Christmas hunt, it was a day after Christmas, wasn't it? And he 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 had a shop open for us, so he's a neat guy <clears throat> and uh, does a good job. So I don't think we'll be able to hunt much more today. It looks like it's going to rain some more. It's starting to rain a little bit now, so. The Lord got us in, got us out, and got us done quick this morning. It was awesome. Just plain awesome. And I've got the heart and the tongue, so those will go home with me, and I'll uh, get them nice and frozen in the vacuum seal. Good job, John. Outstanding. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> da, 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 da. Papa, Look at that. Kangaroo nut pie. Who does it belong to? Oh, look at the taters. Ooh, it's a ham. Kangaroo nut pie. Zoe, I'm making you a special drink.